What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another talk, catch up talk with Luke. I hope everyone's had a tremendous week, an even better day. Usually I say better, you know what I mean, yeah. Okay, all right. So, topic of this week's video is going to be something that really resonates with me and something that I've really had to learn the hard way of how to appreciate, and that is a reminder. Now, what do I mean by a reminder? Because of course, there's reminders that we set on our everyday life, just like a reminder to wake up in the morning, a reminder to, you know, that you have a meeting at 3 p.m., things like that. And then there's reminders when it comes to why you're doing something. So for example, right, like, let's say you have a passion for fitness, right? You love to work out. You have to dive deep as to what your goal is when it comes to fitness, but most importantly, why you're doing that. When you have a purpose, guys, when you're doing something for not only yourself, when it comes to self-fulfillment and self-achievement, but for someone else, you're more than likely to stick that goal out and fulfill it. It doesn't matter the hardships that are gonna come along with it. It doesn't matter how long it's gonna take to get there. Eventually, you will accomplish that goal. Why do I say that? When we go through things in life, we learn the power of time. We learn the power of to appreciate living in the moment. And most importantly, we learn to appreciate the people that we have around us. A lot of us guys in our everyday life, we tend to be very selfish. We tend to only think about why this outcome or why this goal is going to benefit me and only me. When instead, what we should do is we should question, why are we on this mission of self-fulfillment? Why do we want to accomplish this particular goal? Who do we want to be proud of us like who is that one person that means the most to us and if we get this certain goal accomplished if we accomplish a certain goal how is this goal going to impact and change this individual's life because guys again we are more bound to stick a goal out no matter the hardships that come along with it no matter what happens in our everyday life that may like just kind of you know kind of give us a little shove and and you know get us a little startled that shove won't knock us with our face planted for like firmly onto the ground we will never bleed be resilient find what drives you and never give up on that because again even if Right now, you may not have someone that you're trying to either outgrow or to have proud of you. Eventually, down the line, you will have a circle that are going to not not necessarily depend on you, but they're going to look up to you that you are the person that was able to stick out and stick through the hardships of life and you lead by example. You were able to get what you aspired to go after and therefore they're gonna look at you almost like an idol and guys i'm not i'm not preaching this message that way we can all try to pretend to be you know more than we are i am out here reminding people the importance of sticking out what you say you're going to do and thinking in the back of your mind the one person other than yourself, that if you get that particular goal accomplished, how that's going to drastically and dramatically change their life forever. So yeah, guys, that was this week's catch up talk. A lot has happened over the last week. I'm taking things day by day. Um, But let's continue to change the narrative of our own life by taking ownership of our goals, remembering to inhale, exhale and begin our new life, the life that we want to accomplish and the life that we are firmly into control of. We can't control 
existential things. We can't control people. We can't control outcomes. What we can control is what we want and who we are. That's what we can control. So let's continue to catch up to the best version of ourselves. So yeah, guys, drop a like if you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.